Hello friends, greetings from Dr. M. V. Rao, welcome to our channel. Here I would like to show you a small experiment on turmeric which is carried out in a laboratory. Please watch the video till the end and please subscribe. What we are seeing here is a turmeric crop. Turmeric is an underground rhizome and is picked up from underneath the soil while harvesting. These are the fingers of turmeric which are taken out from the soil when they are ripe. They contain about 85 to 88 percent of moisture when fresh. These are the dry turmeric fingers which we regularly see in our day to day life. They are the dried form of fresh turmeric after undergoing a phase of boiling. They contain about 12 percent moisture and are quite hard. This video clip shows how the bulky large turmeric finger is reduced to a small size after boiling and drying. This is because of the moisture that was 85 to 88 percent in the fresh finger is lost on drying and thus the finger becomes thin. I was speaking of boiling. Why turmeric should be boiled? This picture shows when a fresh turmeric finger is cut open, the color is intense in the central portion and lighter around the periphery. Thus, when this turmeric finger as such is taken without boiling and dried, it gives a brownish appearance and does not appeal to the eye. Now, we shall see how the boiling is done in the laboratory. This is a selective experiment where we have chosen only one finger to boil to see the changes. As it boils, there is a slight yellow coloration of water. The boiling is continued for about 45 minutes till froth appears on the surface. Curcumin is not soluble in water. However, the starch around the central core of the turmeric gelatinizes during boiling. A slight amount of the starch goes into water giving yellow coloration and the skin of the finger also contributes to the color. Once the boiling is done, we can see that the curcumin from the central core gets distributed in the finger uniformly, thus attaining yellow or golden yellow color. This is the main purpose of boiling turmeric as a post-harvest practice. In these slices, the difference is very clear between the left unboiled and the right boiled turmeric. In the left there is a central zone and in the right the piece is totally uniform as already we have seen. This experiment on single turmeric finger is to show how curcumin gets distributed and how starch gets gelatinized. This is basically the process of uh, post harvest of uh, turmeric in the field and boiling is done by various methods. In fact, there are three notable curcuminoids that is curcumin, demethoxy curcumin and pis demethoxy curcumin. Of this, Curcumin is the most active component. One more 
interesting constituent in turmeric is the volatile oil or the essential oil. While curcumin may vary from 1.5 to 8 percent in different varieties, volatile oil also varies from 2.5 to 7 percent. Coming back to boiling of turmeric, after the boiling is over, the product is dried under sun. It may vary from 14 to 21 days of uh, drying depending on the sunlight. So, in the field after the drying is over and the moisture is uh, brought to about uh, 15 percent, the product is then taken out and then subjected to polishing and polishing drums. Polishing makes a uniform surface and it removes the skin and it gives a good appearance as such. After this is done, the product is ground to the desired mesh size. So, that is the story about uh, turmeric my friends. I shall come out with more details in due course of time. Thank you for watching the video and please subscribe.